All right, thank you so much for tuning back in to another reaction video. My name is Chris. My name is Sam. And we are Offset. Era. Woohoo! We. All right. <laughs> and as you've seen in the title, we're bringing back Dirty, Dirty Loops. Loops. A lot right. of you guys have suggested this. It's been out for a little while, four weeks, it looks like. It's a song that they, it's an original song called Runaway. Uh, I can't really gather from the video if it's pre-recorded or not. It does look uh, pretty flashy, but I also see a lot of instrumentation and people playing with laptops and don't know really to expect. We haven't heard this. We have seen some uh, pictures of the bass player uh, and the thumbnails and stuff playing a very interesting looking bass. So uh, we'll unpack that as we see it. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the video here. It's got uh, 585,000 views in four weeks. Not nice. bad at all. <clears throat> These gentlemen are on tour in the U.S. April 20th, they're going to be in Houston, Texas. Yeah. At the White Oak Music Hall. Then they're going <clears> to <throat> swing up into Canada and then come back down to California. <clears throat> uh, actually, it looks like um, it looks like uh, on the on April 8th, they're going to be in Seattle. And then, yeah. and then Vancouver, and then San Francisco, and then Houston. Crazy. Oh, well, either, way, the, either way, they're on tour. <clears throat> That's crazy. They're on tour and... Well, those are some cool sounding places. Commodore Ballroom. Yeah. Regency Ballroom. The Crocodile. Yeah. All right. Let's check out some of these comments here. Uh, Henrik finally got the extra hands installed. Uh -oh. <laughs> 80s vibes combined with Toto, Van Halen, and Steve Vai mastery. Spice with some Phil Collins drumming here and there. Nice. All maintaining consistency of their own style and touch. What audacity and originality in this composition what a band nice nice that's some that i like those comparisons you know yeah. toto's you know toto's really cool i love van halen steve I, you know steve i amazing guitar player he was actually uh when david lee roth first went solo in the mid 80s after splitting with van halen he took on steve i as his guitar player for uh, the first um well definitely the his first record eat him smile but i want to also say the second record but i might be mistaken and it was uh, it was it was interesting seeing that first record go up against you know their first record with Sammy Hagar, but in any case, and you know Phil Collins drumming, you know, choo -choo 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 yeah, I can feel <clears throat> dirty loops. How much? How much bass does this song need, Henrik? Hold, hold my extra arm. arm. <laughs> oh my god. The drummer edited the music video. That's so cool. He's got amazing rhythm across multiple mediums. Nice. Mm. Okay, so it's a music video, I guess. If I could upload this song a million times, I would. I got to see Dirty Loops play this song live in Toronto, and they absolutely demolished it. I've been basically playing this song on repeat since I came, since it first came out. What, what great 80s vibes. What Check. great 80s vibes. Check. Epic feel and sound. Check. Massive drums, check. check. Ridiculous solos on a bass. Check. On a bass, you know, in all capital letters, check. check. Fantastic vocals and harmonies, check. Key change, ooh, key ooh, change. Of course they're going to key change. It's Dirty Loops. <laughs> all right. It has arisen to the top of my favorite songs list. Thank you, gentlemen. I dig key changes. All right. Well, I think we have some uh, a lot to get into here, so we're not gonna. Let's uh, not waste any more time. In. Yeah, let's jump in. And for anyone, mm -hmm. and for anyone jumping in with us to Dirty Loops or just in general jumping into the channel with for the first time, well, then welcome. Welcome to the channel, and we have done a few other Dirty Loops videos in the past. So if you're curious to see those, make sure you go check out our YouTube channel and click on playlist, and then click on Dirty Loops reactions. But if you're not new to the channel, you know what time it is. You know what time it is. It's time for the glorious epic transition. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so it does kind of look like a performance, but we guess that based on comments, it sounds like he edited the music video. So I don't know if this is a mixture of live performance or just playing along to the pre-recorded audio. You guys will always like always will have to fill in those gaps, but we're here to enjoy it. A lot of you guys suggested this one. Dirty Loose, popular demand with Runaway. Here we go. Here we go. That's not how you play whatever that is. <laughs> no, no, it's a, uh, it's a piano. Like, it's, it's like a, a MIDI controller. A MIDI yeah. keyboard program, dude. <clears throat> Which is funny. Dude. I've never really seen anyone do it with a keyboard. I mean, I've clicked in the that's, mouse that, and that is, program. That's kind of cool, though. Yeah.
What? Is that the extra hand? Look at those drums! They're all clear. That's crazy. <laughs> there is an extra hand in there. What the heck is going on with that? Um, what the hell kind of effect is he using to get that sound? <clears throat> that is bizarre. So far, my impressions are this is way more synth heavy than anything we've ever heard. And I get the 80s thing. It definitely sounds like, I don't know, 80s techno pop kind of thing going on. Obviously, there's real drums, so it has a bigger feel. And we know that we're in for some quite a bit of musicianship that's going to happen here toward the end. Oh, absolutely. So there's going to be some rock in there. There's going to be some jazz in here. We're definitely getting 80s pop, though, for sure, right off the tip. Very cool so far. That, I don't know what the heck. It's the, a six-string bass. Oh, my goodness. But the sound he's getting, <laughs> I just, oh. you yeah. guys have to let us know. I'm sure it's I know a that, I know he's got a, he has a, you yeah. know, he has a myriad of, um, you know, different kind of sounds that he can yeah. get. And... You would never, he like, expect from what that is sounding yeah, like what? to I, it to be I, that. I, I am drawing a blank as to what kind of, as to how to describe that sound, you know, that he's, that he's getting like that. Like, uh, or, let's or, see. or what kind let's of effect that he's it. using. Or... Yeah. I've had, I've, like, old, old, old pedals I've had had weird things like this on there. Almost nine musical weird things that you were like, what would the heck would I ever use this for? And it's like one of those niche effects that you just were like, this is the one application that I yeah. think good with her. <laughs> that makes me... Oh... What the? Oh, 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 oh. The 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 playing yeah, with the, the rye and, thing. Yeah. That those two things. You know his you know slapping and plucking you know with the with the effect that's with the sound effect that it right that it, that's on with that. Oh my god! And then the ride, like triple playing off of it, so he's doing all these triplets on the the bass. But if you listen to the and it shows him doing with the ride, it sounds really interesting. So all that's going on at yeah. the same time. Whoa. Oh, it's a whammy! He just showed a picture of it. Oh yeah, yeah. or some kind of wah or something. Oh, that sounds like a guitar. Yeah. Wow. 
Ooh, nice fell. Little slow double base there. up with the arms I don't get that it's just weird oh okay huh well there's a lot of credits here Oh, if we're supposed to read the comments, and usually the comments are weird. This is where they hide stuff. Like design. Yes, man? It's not a faced mom tattoo in body piercing. <laughs> Madison bases. I've never heard of them. Line 6. Yep. MXR. Yep. I've heard of that. Special thanks to Okay. What do we got? Is that it? Yep. No funny things? Okay. Alright, let's flip back over. All right, Dirty Loops with Runaway. Wow. Well, I think Hendrick did take the f the spotlight for most of that. Doesn't help, or it doesn't hurt that uh, he was center stage. He was and for good reason. Oh yeah. my god! Like, yeah. well, first off, that one double neck base with the third with his third arm. <laughs> I don't know what the point of that was. I'd never seen him play that part of the base, uh, and none of the hands did anything for. So I guess off the field, maybe it was just to be weird or, or to do But those solos, oh my god! Like that's just something that you just got to sit yeah. back and just marvel at. So for a couple observations, uh, just based on um, the song structure in, in general. Uh, when it came to Jonah, and I forget the drummer's name, I apologize. He did a great job. They both did. Uh, Jonah kind of held it back a lot. I have, we know we've, we heard a lot of good vocals from him, but I felt like there were no sung verses. There were a couple extra parts other than that main chorus, but there wasn't a... a was I didn't more, hear a lot of verse, chorus, verse, chorus going on. Yeah, it was more... Musically, it was more a case of kind of like just let the music do the talking. Right. And kind of... You know, letting letting that be the act as the soundscape. And like, returning like when back he, to that like when he did do, like when he did step up vocally, you yeah. know, it was, you know, it was it was it's you know obviously he's you know he always sounds great. Yeah. Um. But yeah, like I said, it was it was kind of like a soundscaping approach, and you know, obviously the bass was center stage and those right. amazing solos, and right. I really get the um the Steve Vai comparison because mm. you know Steve Vai is a guitar player, you know you know he's he's on a level where you just have to like just stand back and just marvel and mm -hmm. it's something something to aspire to but also something to marvel at like like this guy like you know hendrick scott chops mm -hmm. and you know just like take notes <laughs> yeah so yeah i think that whammy and that whammy effect oh my or god whatever it was whatever kind like of like, whatever, than whatever just one thing oh yeah definitely yeah. more than just one thing so whatever right. combination of uh, of effects he was using to get that sound like there was definitely like a whammy pedal or right something he was hitting with the something split. like yeah 
We saw that. So, but there was also, I mean, had to have been other other stuff going on. There was phasers. Ooh, excuse me, few phasers going on, modulation going on. Um, the key change. Yeah, the key. I don't. I don't. I, honestly, it was so chaotic. I couldn't have told you where the key change was. Um, but I will tell you that uh, it did say it did have the main things of pop though, which pop. Um, if for those who may not consider this uh mostly pop is centered around repeating repetitive nature right something simple something easy and so when it came to the vocal alignment and part of that that was very yeah that, repetitive. that had like a that had a bit of that had a bit of a, of a pop accessibility right but in terms of musicality yeah you know like 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 there was like some pop influence in there you know like with the guitars obviously right. there was the rock element right but with the and with it's... the virtuosity like you know that's like that's straight up jazz. Yeah, I think it's great. So you guys know we love we love Dirty Loops. If you want us to continue checking out more Dirty Loops, send us suggestions. Whether it's a music video like this, or a right. studio session, or a live video. Right. It's really important with the Dirty Loops that you guys give us links because I know there is a difference between live and not live, and you guys will know which the, what is the best for us to check out. So we trust you. So let us know. Yep. But in the meantime, we are Offset, Offset Era. Era. We are two thirds of Offset Era, a three piece punk core act based out of sunny Southwest Florida. Yep. We have an extensive playlist of all of our original music if you're interested or curious as to what our sound entails. Yep. As well as a brand new six track EP called Top Shelf Villain, which is available on all digital streaming platforms. We're so excited this music is finally out. We just put a video title track to the song. Yep, just about two weeks ago. Your Top Shelf Villain. Yep, a, an official lyric video, and it's doing quite well. The, you know, the reception of the new material has been great. Yeah, and we're very proud of what we've put out. I just want to call attention to a couple of th uh, new videos that we have put out, original content. Uh, we did a, a couple of videos. We did a, uh, a quick little behind the scenes video for when we went to prom yeah punk prom at alex pub so, and beer from a couple weeks ago we did a couple little videos on that goofing around so it's cool uh cool it does include some live footage it does of include us yes it does include us playing a brand new song off of top show filling right and there's also a fun behind the scenes video of us at the hurt opera house in arcadia right. which we were just that last week and speaking of that uh i did post a standalone video of us playing a song called still inside yep uh and it's actually a kind of a surprise little hit that it's one of those yeah, songs that we didn't really put out there very much and people are really watching that video so it will come up in the cards of this video uh, so make sure check out our music video check out some of our other original content of us playing shows and just being you know having adventures in various towns uh, and all the more reason to support us on Patreon. Yep. If you haven't done so already, please support us on Patreon. You get access to uh, priority suggestions. Anything blocked that I can't put on YouTube will be put it, putting it on there. Yep. On no, all the uncensored material. No yeah. bars, no bleeps, yeah. <laughs> no blurs. <laughs> no, yeah. no audio or, any, or weird things having to cover the screen. Yep. Uh, so Everything should, as you would want it. <laughs> yep. So feel free. Uh, you can also message us there. Uh, and with that being said, we have some shows coming up. That's right. Friday, April 12th, we're going to be at Beach Records in Fort Myers right. with Dead Set Collective, Ichinen, and Social Infants. Yeah. And then Saturday, April 13th, we're going to be at Ollie's Pub Records and Beer. Uh, we don't have the full band roster lineup set up just yet. Yeah. But once we have a full confirmed flyer and lineup, we will share it as a link on these ensuing videos. Yeah, just can't wait to play shows. We're having a great time playing our new music. So if you happen yep. to be in the Cape Coral, Fort Myers area, come on, see us. We'd be happy to see you. Yeah, we'll buy you a beer. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. Yes. <laughs> Well, that's it for our video. We want to thank you so much for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Let us know what you want to see in the next one. And we'll see you then. We'll see you there. Peace out.